All right, everybody, it's Paul. This is the new Xbox interface. Nice skin, works great. You're familiar with it, nothing major in the uh, look and feel, just general improvements, if you will. But what we want to talk about today is Zune. So, as you see, Zune is now the top of the music marketplace. I do have a Zune account to make all this work, and you'll need one as well. However, you know, Microsoft's famous for giving away those 14 day free trials. Just go ahead and take a look for one of those if you want to see this in action. So this is Zoom Music, very nicely done, uh, very attractive through the interface. You got the new releases area, and you got everything that you know came out this week. Clapton's my style, so we'll pull up him, see what's going on. We got the new album. We can pick a track if we want, or we can click play all and go from there. Nice little screensaver-ish interface from the album, and pictures of Clapton doing his thing, and click B and we got this. I uh, somewhat like the original Zune HD screenshot stuff that we know, but um, nice, simple, easy, nothing's going to burn in your screen and something worth, uh, something a little fun to look at while you've got the music going in the background. Uh, Last FM's still there, uh, still part of the game, but you know, now we've got this. Uh, competing slightly with Last FM would be Smart DJ, where basically you pick a band, I got two up here in queue. We'll take U2, and then it just picks music kind of like U2 and shuffles it for you. So, as you can see, starts with U2, goes to Nirvana, the Foo Fighters, and then John Mayer. Interesting. But um, goes in the background, plays again. Um, you know, a nice little screensaver interface type of thing. I don't know where they've got the library from, from but it's um, it, it's attractive. It's it's well, well done. I think it did a good job here. Um, you could... Well, let's go back actually here. Take inside here, we can uh, part music, uh, get more information about the music, and um, all inside of the interface. I'm just using the regular Xbox remote here. That shouldn't be that surprising, if you will. But we can find the albums, get a bio about the band, what music videos we've got, pictures from the band, and uh, bands that are, are related accordingly. So it's kind of a fun way to do your own bit of music discovery. So, we take a look at the alarm, pull up what they've got, all with the music playing in the background, and then we can either uh, grab, you know, our favorite alarm album, or um, go with Play All, and go from there. Nice, uh, really nice, nice interface. They did, a, they did a good job pulling this off. It has the same, some of the same look and feel from the Zune HD, so they did a good job there, and it will be kind of offset by what it's got. You got the social, which, um, you know, is built into Zune. Always kind of fascinating your different friends, what they're into, what they're watching. You can do music videos and the whole nine yards. Um, good job, Zune. Now, it's not just about the music with the new Xbox interface. They've also integrated it tightly with the TV scene and the movie scene, which is what makes this really interesting. They are now the video marketplace that even come before Netflix. So we go into Zoom, and we've got the ability to take a look at anything we want to take a look at. Cue's up here in a second. Once you get to this part, the movies actually come 1080p instantly, which is very, very nice. So you've got all the movies they're looking at, and what's great, uh, the second we pull over here to Iron Man 2, the uh, credits start, and you can see we've got the previews right there, and we can decide what to do. I could change it from HD to SD. Why would I do that? Um, right now it's buy only, stream and download. But you can see that started going instantly. You click and you got the preview while you're trying to figure out if this is the movie that you want to purchase. Good job, Tony Stark. And um, it's not just movies. You got your TV, you got your music videos, the whole nine yards. Let's go to the fall TV launch. I'll give you an example of how um, just tightly integrated this is. We'll go over to... Oh, what should we pick here? Let's pick... Uh, Oh, does anybody listen to House anymore? We'll go to Modern Family, see what they're up, up to. And uh, right as we click on Episode 1 and decide what we want to do, it starts instantly, as you can see. And we've got the episode um, lower def while it's streaming to make, get you to make the decision. But then you can decide, again, HD or standard definition and go from there. Entirely inside of the you know, point system that they have set up. So it's, um, it's very well done. Music videos that you can grab, search, movie trailers. Of course, these are all free. So if you want to see the new, uh, which one looks like an interesting one? Oh, of course, the social network looks like a fascinating one. And you got your full 1080p previews here. Um, those don't queue up instantly. I'm not quite sure why, but um, nice, well done. 
and um, a simple to use interface. We can go into independent videos. This is where it gets fun because, you know, it's where we've picked up things like our good friends at the Guild, all the previous seasons accordingly. So if we want to watch episode six, of course, all these are ours to watch. What's nice is, again, they stream immediately and you get the full 1080p. So Azun is now part, completely and totally part of the Xbox interface. To uh, do the movies and stuff, it's points. If you want to look at the world of music, it's included in your Zoom subscription. It's a great little deal. They did a, did a fabulous job with it, and I am quite pleased. I think you will be too. So this has been Paul Colligan from ZuneLove.com, taking a look at Zoom and its new tight integration with the Xbox. If you've got any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Bye.